I will show you some of the surfaces we apply our paper to. This one is called foam core. Now I'll just use the edge of it so you can see the thickness. This is foam core. You can purchase foam core from any uh, art supply store. Um, any stationery shop will sell foam core. It's very lightweight and we use it as a support for the watercolor paper. Here I have a sheet of watercolor paper that has been mounted right onto the foam core. I've used tape to secure it, but it's very lightweight for me to use. We need to stretch our paper before uh, using it, so the foam core acts as a stable support for this uh, paper. Another thing we use, and I'll just reach in here and get it for you, is a lightweight particle board. You can see it's quite thin, but it is very stable. It's actually way more stable than the foam core. Uh, however, it is a little more uh, substance to it and uh, obviously more weight. What you would do is stretch the paper onto this surface in the same manner that we apply it to the foam core using the tape. But uh, this is just an artistic choice here. Sometimes I use one over the other. Some uh, art supply stores sell um, this type of board for watercolorists. Sometimes they have uh, uh, very heavy rubber bands around them and you can slip your paper underneath. Th actually, the choice is quite um, extensive. What I keep on hand whenever I use uh, supports are bulldog clips. And what you can do is just clip this right on to the, the board to secure your watercolor paper like this if you're working on a design and you're halfway through and you just need a little bit more support, you can just use a bulldog clip like this uh, or two or three and line them up however you like to prevent any movement. Like that, you just snap these in place and you can work around them. The only negative or downside to using the bulldog clips is uh, if the paper is damp, you run the risk of creating a really hard impression along the edge. And you have to be careful that that doesn't um, cause the paper to buckle, which will attract water and cause it to pool along the edge. So there's little uh, cautions in everything you use. You just have to be aware of what the downside is. But this is a handy way to secure your paper, even for tracing and transferring designs. It's a good tool. Thank you.